Welcome to Real Talk episode four. Today I'm gonna to be talking about Mid Journey and a few other AI tools to help you reimagine your business. Mid Journey is AI software that allows you to create almost anything, graphics wise, image wise, uh, just by prompting it. And I'm gonna go through a few examples that'll show you how you can leverage this in your business um, in creative and unique ways from a client perspective, from an advertising perspective, um, and a business development perspective. You can get started with Midjourney by signing up at midjourney.com. Um, it is slightly more advanced to get started than other AI software, but so far in my experience, it's been one of the better ones. When you visit the Midjourney site, you'll need to sign up and you'll also need to access Discord. If you've never used Discord before, I would recommend jumping on another video I'm gonna link below that'll give you the rundown on how to get started at Midjourney. This video is for more for people who are willing to take that jump in and get into it and then learn what it can do. While I wouldn't say that Mid Journey is at advanced levels to getting to learn to use it, um, it does take you know 20, 30 minutes for you to understand if you've never been on Discord um, and just to learn the ropes of the software to get going initially. Definitely worth it though. When you land in Mid Journey, when you get into Discord, once you get it going, this is what you're gonna see. You're gonna see a screen like this with a bunch of other options. There's a few things you're gonna go through. Again, I don't wanna bog down uh, all the details of what you need to do to get going. There's plenty of tutorials online for you to get started on that side. When you're in, you'll see that there's newbie forums here and you can actually start getting ideas from people. Um, and so, you know, while this is all great and your creative juices will start flowing like mine did when you get on here, um, let's stick to the real estate stuff right now. What Midjourney isn't, Midjourney is not a prompt to, for now, Midjourney is not a prompt to make your current images, like an image of yourself, just be recreated. Although I do think that's coming down the pipeline pretty soon. So imagine this, you can tell this piece of software anything you want to visualize. And so from a real estate perspective, let's take a look at some areas where that might be a place where you need it. Uh, ad campaigns, for me, running ads, getting creatives and setting up material for that can be time consuming to say the least. Uh, whether you're using assets from Unsplash or you're going the paid route and going to iStock Photo, um, there's some, some time there to really find the right photo of what you're looking for. We're eliminating the need to go in and have to search for end, endless amounts of images that may or may not fit what we're looking for. I often found myself just saying, yeah, that, that one will do. If you want something truly creative, it typically would cost you. Our first prompt here you can see, this is what I wrote. And so I'm gonna give you an idea of what you have to write to show you how to kick it off. Now again, you haven't started and you haven't done this yet, there is some learning curve to it um, and some of this stuff may not make exact sense of what I'm saying, so I'll explain it as we go. But right now I'm in a private room with the Mid Journey bot in the Discord server. So Discord chat, I'm in a private chat with the Mid Journey software and I'm telling it now things I want it to do. This is keeping it private. When you do a prompt, Mid Journey will put out four options for you, um, for you to look from. When you get those options, as you can see, below it you'll see U1, 2, U3, U4, and then this little remix button. Uh, and then you've got a V1, 2, 3, and 4. So that corresponds to 1, 2, 3, and 4. U stands for upscale, V stands for variation. So if I take a look at this and I say, ah, I really liked image 1, I can do a prompt to redo image 1. So here's what we did. Um, this was actually prompted from another image. This is where that was prompted from. This was an image I created and I just created another prompt from that image. Um, you can see there's a little issue there with that one in the balloon. So I think I just wanted them to do a little bit different. Um, anyways, what I was going for was a marketing campaign that we launched uh, on Facebook and just an image that's gonna grab people's attention. Thinking that Pixar up, um, you know, when you think about um, homes, you think about moving and leaving and balloons, celebrating, all that kind of stuff. So the, mind, the mentality here, the mindset here is simply just getting an image that's gonna grab people's attention, that stands out, that's gonna make people click on what you wanna, want them to click on, which is your ad, your link, whatever it is, right? Um, so here's what I wrote. A photograph during golden hour with a beautiful sunset of a luxury family home that has, and so the reason I wrote thousands, and you'll learn this as you get through, get through that, is thousands and thousands. If I don't write that, I'll get too little of balloons. It could potentially get too little of balloons or you could have not the right results. So the more specific you can be, the better. And and even then, it doesn't always, you know, I said it should stand out above the rather homes. You can even do things like change, so watch this. I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna take the same prompt. 
So I'm just gonna copy that. Now this is version five. That's just the version it's on. Those are just different little prompts there. Um, I'm, I'm redoing this, but I'm gonna say, do it from a bird's eye view. And now I've started this prompt and what it's gonna do is go through the process of creating that image for us that we requested. So as you can see here, uh, as you can see on my screen here, I remixed the one, the one picture I've already done. I've got some variations of that. Um, and the thing is too, the cool thing about this is, uh, oh, and, and, and we switched it to view, right? So we want it to be more of a bird's eye view. So you can see there I was ground level. Now we've got more of a bird's eye view, right? So this, this software is really endless um, and you can change the styles too. So one thing I wanna show you right now, mid journey, the future with AI art is really gonna take away the creativity in that side of the skill. And it's gonna be creating more of a style unique to yourself. If you go on to, it's called midlibrary.io, you can get tons of inspiration. Even on midjourney.com, there's a place there where you can explore and see what other people are creating and the amount of um, images and whatnot that are creating. Here's a few other examples I've created that uh, were just test ones that we haven't really prompted through to really get. Uh, the more you do it, the more you refine it, the more specific you are, you can adjust things like aspect ratio. So if you want a more panoramic picture, landscape picture, or a more portrait picture, um, those are options you can do. Uh, I've even seen videos of people take pictures. So for example, what I have up on the screen here, uh, that's a picture of my business partner turned into a cartoon. And so now we could take this, create a kid's coloring book for our clients. And now, um, you know, let's say I prompt this though, and I take this picture and I put it into mid journey and say, turn this into someone fighting a dragon inside a house. Uh, may not be perfect, got to work it out a little bit, but there's just tons of opportunities and potential there. This here, quick prompt, just said like watercolor image schematic. Um, this isn't perfect, but if I'm trying to edit and I want a schematic of a house or something in watercolor, getting this baseline graphic here is half the battle. And I, again, like I can, I can cut out all this stuff. This would be forever to design or find or license or whatever it is, right? Create that in two seconds now. For example, we're working with the builder Streetside and they are building the Connect in Inglewood. Uh, it took me two seconds to put together a prompt that took a, a reference image of the building, popped out a similar one, um, but said to make it more uh, illustrative with birds uh, because this one's pretty close to the Inglewood Bird Sanctuary. And now we can run ads uh, based on that with that vibe and that look. Here we go, again, nice little real estate logo. The more specific you are, the more intentional you are in what you write, uh, the better results you'll get. And Again, it's endless. Like I could say, create me a render of a futuristic 7-Eleven. And you can see here, pumped out a quick rendition of what a new futuristic 7-Eleven might look like. Limitations with this, fonts, words, um, lettering that, uh, still has a bit of a ways to go, but I mean, that's kind of impressive. And again, that's a very basic prompt. I could give more details. I could talk about the time of day, view, type of art, type of rendering. Um, there's a lot of prompts. And so again, thinking outside of the box, how can you uh, make the most of this? I think there's gonna be an opportunity in the future for you to take your client's new home that they bought, pump it into mid-journey, and then pump out a cool photo of, uh, art piece of their new home or even your sellers, right? Uh, what kind of nice memento would, would it have or what what a great memento to have um, is a, a memory of a house that you you know grew up in and raised your family in um, in an artistic way that'll be possible very very possible it's already there almost there i think you could probably prompt that through and get something close um, i'm not sure i'd invest the time to do it right now quite yet though but uh, another option another opportunity final example here uh, i was recently just doing a showing with my clients and uh, they in the house they had a P, uh, Mona Lisa um, painting with a cat on it and uh, the, the client's kids thought it was very cool and I was talking to them about this this software and um, I created a version of it and they actually so the cat in the picture was black or orange um, and in, in the picture I created they have a white cat so we created a version with a white cat and um, then I sent that off to the dad and he said he's gonna print that for her so now she's got a Mona Lisa uh, with a cat that looks like they're with They've got a picture now of Mona Lisa holding a white cat, thrilled. And there's an example of a remix version of it, right? Um, I don't know why I pumped up. <laughs> I'm not sure I had the prompt in there properly, but again, you know, 
the deeper you go with it, the better results you're gonna get. The options with this are really endless. You wanna create a new stadium in your city and a rendering of it, boom, Midjourney will do it for you. Uh, you wanna create a futuristic rendition of what your city looks like, Midjourney can do that for you. Uh, you wanna create an artistic styling based off Picasso of um, your cat, Midjourney can do that, your client's cat, Midjourney can do that for you. This is something as an agent you need to keep your eye on. There's gonna be a lot of opportunities to create marketing material, advertising material, client related material. The, the options are really endless and uh, you know, it's gonna be about how, who can prompt the best and take, make the most of the software uh, in creative and unique ways. Thank you.